In this video, I will compare images from a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and a Sony ZV-1 camera. All of the images were captured with the cameras set to their auto settings, and they were all taken at night in the dark after sunset. The purpose of the video is for me to determine which of the cameras does a better job. For example, when you're going for a walk, should you bring your Sony ZV-1 camera with you, um, or is your cell phone gonna take adequate pictures? The only reason to bring the Sony ZV-1 camera in addition to your cell phone is if you believe it's going to take a better quality of image. So that's what we're gonna find out in this upcoming video. First, we're gonna compare the images full screen. I'll just label them camera one, camera two, so you won't know which camera is which, and you'll wanna decide which you believe is the Sony ZV-1 and which you believe is the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Then I'll do a comparison side by side, again, just labeled with camera one, camera two, and then we'll reveal finally which of the cameras is camera one and which of the cameras is camera two. Uh, for the purposes of this video, the cameras were set at their full auto settings, so that was the camera making a decision about how best to take the photograph. The only image modifications made after capture was to zoom in and crop the images so that they would have a similar perspective. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down 
And now I'll reveal which camera is camera 1 and which camera is camera 2. Did you believe that the Sony ZV-1 was camera 1 or do you believe it was camera 2? Here I project the Note 20 as the winner due to more detail in the grass, snow, and wall. I believe the Note 20 is doing a better job in the detail in the rocks, so my vote for this comparison is again the Note 20. Here I believe the Note 20 is once again doing a better job due to detail in the surface of the cross, and the cross is not overexposed. Here I'm not projecting a winner, I believe the outcome is very similar, perhaps the Note 20 is slightly sharper. In this comparison, it's a very similar outcome, so I'm not projecting a winner. The Note 20 is perhaps slightly sharper if you look at the sidewalk. In this image, I believe the Note 20 is better due to detail in the concrete and the snow in the median of the freeway. Here again, I'm giving my vote to the Note 20. It's better based on the Verizon sign being more properly exposed and the overall image being sharper. This one's a little bit closer in regards to the sign, but if you look at the tree and the mulch, you can see better sharpness and detail in the Note 20 image. Here again, I believe the Note 20 is better based on not overexposing the sign and overall sharpness of the image. And in this last image, I believe the Note 20 is once again better at not overexposing the sign. However, I do notice that the ZV-1 appears to be sharper in this case, and there is a cool looking sparkle in the snow. So based on the comparison, if you're planning to go for a walk, you're thinking about taking some photographs along the way, and you're the type of person that's going to shoot the photographs handheld without a tripod and in full camera automatic mode. You don't really need to bring your Sony ZV-1 camera with you if you have a more recent cell phone similar to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra in this case did a better job of taking the photos than the ZV-1, so I can't see why you would want to bring the Sony ZV-1 camera with you on the walk. If you found this video helpful or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Also, please consider watching some of my other videos and subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching the video to the end and have a wonderful day.